Good evening, my friends. Welcome back from where I would camp that. I'm back in southern Alberta. My parents have found a place and are getting ready to move there. They're still in the process of selling their house, but uh, things are rolling along for them. I've just been down to help them out, taking a few things off their hands. The truck rig is back to having no bed in it again. I'll go ahead and crack this open here. So here's what our setup looks like right now. Got a sleep pad, pillows, go bag, my clothes, a couple other things. So I'm definitely a little more prepared than I was last time. Last time I just cobbled together a couple of body pillows and some couch cushions. So I'm curious to see how this will be for a sleep tonight. So as I've mentioned before, one of the things I love about Northern Alberta is there is more random camping, public land, crown land that you can shake a stick at. You can pick a random back road up there. You'll probably find something eventually. Heck, some of the roads you go down, you'll find several somethings or places that could be called a camping spot or places where people clearly have camped. They've made their own fire pits. It's very unclear if the land actually belongs to someone. It's awesome. Southern Alberta, unfortunately, if you look at a map of Southern Alberta, all the communities are packed together like sardines, whereas up in Northern Alberta, everything's a lot more spread out. So finding some random camping down here is always a little tricky. I actually find it easier to do it in the off season here because there's places you can go where nobody really cares if you park there in the off season. But unfortunately, during the on season, not really the case. Now I'm here for three nights. I have a couple of places in mind that I'd like to go to, but those are going to be more night two, night three options. Uh, for tonight, uh, I'm going to have to do something a little closer to home. Um, I'm taking my mom to Calgary tomorrow. We're going to be taking some stuff up there for a relative uh, just to drop off for them and also get it off my mom and dad's hands. So not only are we in a part of Alberta where it's a little tricky to find a spot, we got to try to find something that's not too far away. So let's get on the road, go for a rip, and we will see what we can find. Well, in my efforts to find a place to stealth camp, I have actually found a little area over by a ballpark. To my right, there appears to be a van camper. And they allow you to camp here. It's got a fire pit and picnic table, and it's uh, $10 a night. Now, I usually pride myself on finding free places to camp. However, given that I do need to meet my mom in the morning, I haven't really found any places I'm comfortable stealth camping out here. Pretty picky about that. There's a lot of residential areas too. So I could park just about anywhere and there's about an equal opportunity chance that someone's gonna see my truck and go, oh, that looks weird and call the cops. So I'd like to avoid that. And considering the nearest provincial park requires you to book online, like unserviced site, you're looking at like $29 plus like a, I think it was like a 12 to $15 registration fee versus this little place that's $10 a night. We'll take it. I think I saw a registration box back this way. And as you can see, it's really mucky. Southern Alberta has been getting absolutely torrential rainfall lately. Some parts have been prepping for possible flooding on my way down here. Some of these uh, gravel roads were absolutely washed out. Had to detour a couple of times because some roads were closed. $10 per night. Looks like there's a little envelope in here. Oh, I see. Not gonna lie, I don't even know if I have a pen in the truck. Yeah, it looks like we've got a picnic shelter over here. 
I wonder if this is one of those ones that has like a like a wood stove in it or something. Let's find out. Nope, doesn't look like it. Doesn't even have uh, tables or chairs. Huh. Pretty bare bones. Oh, and they do have a bathroom here too. With flush toilets. What a luxury. A little sketch, there's no light. But hey, always nice to have a bathroom. What a beautiful night. Funny thing is, the wind's not even that bad. Usually Southern Alberta wind is terrible, but it's actually been really tame this time around. All right, let's get back to the truck and we'll get registered here. Okay, let's see if I got a pen in here. Well, unfortunately, I don't have a pen. I thought I had one in my glove box, but it uh, must have gotten moved at some point. So I'm not going to be able to fill out any info on this envelope. I'll just throw the money in and, uh, oh, better than nothing. We'll go ahead and throw that in there. I'll never know who I was. Well, I straightened up back here a little bit and by straightened up I mean I pushed most of my junk off to this side of the bed this whole concept of being back here with this being empty is quite new to me but I am excited to see how this whole uh sleep pad thing will work out the wind is still very manageable it picked up a little bit um at least by southern Alberta standards it's manageable but uh it has a bit of a bite to it it's getting a little cold so I'm gonna get some hot tea made. I'm gonna crack a window for some ventilation and uh, yeah, we'll just get comfy back here. I gotta say it's pretty cozy back here although the real test will be seeing how i feel after i have a sleep on this pad here so hopefully it'll do the trick be a good little stress test but uh having this as an option when i need to pull the bed out there are so many possibilities we can do with this it's like a whole new world of truck camping for us to explore let's see what we got for tea here with all the stuff pulled out of the rig, my uh, organizational structure is completely gone. So I'm kind of at the mercy of whatever I remembered to bring. Rubus Rouge. A lot of this is caffeinated tea. What's this one? Another Rubus. Yeah, and it's caffeine free. Yeah, we'll go with this one. Okay, that should be good. I don't want it too scalding hot. Get that turned off before I burn the place down. Yeah, we'll just let that sit and cool. Now, unfortunately, I forgot to bring sweetener. Some stuff got forgotten pulling everything out of the rig. So I'm going to have to drink this black. Or red. Drink it red. It's nothing like hot tea when you're winding down for the night out camping. It's so peaceful out here, super quiet. The odd vehicle that goes by, but otherwise nice and peaceful. And uh, yeah, it's, I mean, I usually pride myself on finding free places to camp, but sometimes it is nice to just pay for a spot. You've paid for it, it's yours. Nobody should be chasing you out of it. Sometimes that is nice. So the plan for tomorrow, I'm going to be going with my mom to Calgary. We're taking some stuff up to my uncle, my mom's brother. So that's part of the reason why this is all empty. Uh, then we'll be coming back down to the Southern Alberta area. 
Um, I'm excited to go to the next couple of places that we're going to go camping. Uh, I won't have to worry about, you know, how far I go from home and being back with my parents at an early hour. So we'll have a little more freedom to go out to some areas that are a little further away. So for the sleep setup, we've got an extra thick yoga mat. I've got a blanket on top for extra padding. I've got this one blanket here. It's really quite warm back here, so one blanket should do the trick. Then I got these pillows here. There's a body pillow there as well. Uh, more for back support if I'm sitting back here. And Rita packed me this uh, extra couch cushion pillow. Uh, I tend to move in my sleep quite a bit, so just in case I end up off the pillows and off the pad, I got that extra support there. Okay. Hmm. Well, this first impressions, this feels all right. I mean, it's obviously not as, uh, not as soft and comfy as our usual bed, but the real test will be seeing how I feel in the morning. So I'm going to get some shut eye. Good night, everybody. Chat with you in the morning. Good morning, everyone. It was a really good sleep. It took me a little bit to actually get to sleep this whole concept of sleeping on the floor of the box here is uh something i'm getting used to the uh sleep pad um had a blanket on top of it sleep pad was okay um probably use a little more padding so that's something i might have to look into in the future i mean this isn't like a full-time thing that i'm going to be doing but but you know can always develop it and uh, change it as needed. I definitely love to get the tailgate down and uh, do some breakfast. But as I said last night, I gotta get back home and get my mom and get on the road to Calgary. But rest assured, I will follow up with you all with a new video later tonight. I've got a pretty good idea of where I wanna go tonight, so We'll go on another camping adventure tonight. And then uh, we don't have to worry about rushing back home tomorrow morning. So thanks for tuning in, everybody. And uh, excited to get out with you all again tonight. Stay classy, and we'll see you later.